Ladies and gentlemen, attack helicopters and wolf can alike. My name is Mint, and today we're going to be picking up a new series called Tales of Basaria. I think that's how you say it, Basaria, Basaria. Uh, I don't know which, but it sounds correct to me. But I am, I'm excited to play this game. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do enjoy myself a good JRPG. So I don't know a lot, so I'm not going to bullshit you with, uh, you know, previous knowledge on the game. Um, I did start it and like cut through the jump through the cutscenes and just to make sure everything ran smoothly and it did Sit back relax get some tissues and lotion. Let's enjoy a good story start Ooh, Pretty I'm gonna try and not talk through the cutscenes, so I don't know it might be long short I don't know, but we'll see You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. 
and revenge upon one man. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm, bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself, then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in a spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Oh, finally! Finally! Oh my god. Okay. Now I can start talking again. So I hope you enjoyed the that whole long intro. Oh. Oh boy. It's so hard not to talk, but I don't want to disrupt your experience. So it looks like we got the controls set up. Yeah, Xbox One, whatever. I got I got I got the original 360 wired controller. I mean I don't even have the P I don't have the PC one, it's just from my first 360 when it came out. A mini map. Okay. Um Use X and right bumper. All right. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil wood. It's outside of town. This is for mm. Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. All right, cool. What's this? Nutmeg. Ooh, I like finding me some items. Hmm. Damn. All right, so this first episode is probably going to be uh, mostly cutscene, but. I mean, what can you do? I don't want to make a giant, long, long episode. I mean, I'd like to, but... Yeah, ooh, more nutmeg. People to talk to. Wait, why? What's that on the bottom right? Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. Whoa. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Celica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Okay, so it appears this is well after um, the attack with all the werewolves, I guess. Um, hmm. So everything seems kind of normal. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No. No. Not no. Yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, Aww. got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. But still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Celica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. 
All right. <clears throat> this is going to be one talky series. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Okay. Uh, general store, so I assume... Hey, Velvet, in need of hunting supplies, come to me, and not that there's anywhere else to go. You have a monopoly on this village, I see. You buy some apple, apple gel. They're a hundred each. No way. Hell no. Probably not even gonna need it all. Hmm. Nah. No. Now I'm probably gonna have to go through a bunch of tutorials, aren't I? I do not like tutorials. The demon blight is a punishment. Sent to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. A voice. The Imperians. The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! <laughs> oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Oh. That old lady's voice. That's pretty good. That sounds like somebody who isn't old, but trying to sound old. Where are we going? Alright, so the stars on the map, so I assume this is where I'm supposed to go. Alright, uh, This area looks promising. Yeah. What's this? Comfrey. A type of grass that grows in the wild has small value as medicine. Good news. Good news. Man, I do not want to make this one a long one. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna kick your ass, Prickle Bar. Come here. Ah, oh, tutorials! No! No! Combo attack. Use any combination of BYAX to perform three hit combo. So. Hey! Whoa. Hey! Okay. By stunning, defeating, or inflicting status ailments upon enemies, you can get souls, allowing for more combos. Oh. Did we get one? Huh? What the hell is happening? What? Right. So it's like their health is going down? They're not- oh. Oh, I do have a block. Come here, motherfucker. How are you guarding? You can't guard. Wait for my souls to come back. There we go. That was good. That was good. Uh, is that all? Yeah. Hunted prickable meat. Delicious and nutritious. Contacting. God, all this, all of this tutorial crap. I don't like it. I'm not into tutorials. If you're so dead set on uh, reading t -t -t the tutorial text, go ahead and pause the video. Let my controller vibrate. Come here. No. Please, no. When SG dropped to zero, uh, you can still attack, but you will be knocked back if you try to defend. Okay. Unleash combo until it. Hmm. Okay. Use a uh, left bumper, yeah, to defend. I already did. I already knew it. Oh, am I not supposed to dodge? I'm supposed to get hit. Well, come at me then. Look away! Come on. There. Right here goes. Aha. Arthur's second maxim: Know your foes and strike where they're weak. I'm just gonna kick the shit out of them. This is cool. So I was expecting a turn-based combat. No, that's awesome. 
Not it's not turn-based. I like I, I I dislike turn-based combat. I mean I'll play it, but it's not my it's not definitely not my thing. Hmm. Alright, we got some more apple gel, so treasure chest. Yes, if you don't know what a treasure chest does, um I don't I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know. This ore fragment. Alright, well, so why again? The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops. But at least the city will buy our prickle bore meat now. That sounds like a and Arthur good profession. Hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. Hmm. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle bores? Domesticated. Nah, doesn't sound Oinkle appetizing. Bores. What about piggle bore? Piggle yeah, bore. Piggle bore. That's a cute name. Yeah. Maybe too cute though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Okay. Piggle boy! I can use save point. I don't need to save. I'm going balls to the wall hardcore. Alright, we got another another one. Kick his ass. Alright. No battle tutorial this time? Awesome! <laughs> Ooh, double kill. That's pretty good. This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Am I still getting chased? No, it just kind of sounded like it. Here we go. Uh oh. Wait, the boars I hunted. Are you there? Siblings. Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Fuck him up. No, I thought I was done. Hidden arts, focus on damage uh, and attack range, but use more of your SG than martial arts. Oh, okay. Uh, hit the start screen and go over to arts. Oh. Okay. Go down. Searing edge. Yeah, against beasts. Okay. That drain it really fast. Oh. No, screw you guys. Yeah, there we go. Well, oh, don't heal. Are you healing? Don't you dare heal. Kick his ass. You feel lucky, pig? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I did it. The hell was that? An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety, pity for the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Yes, Sensei. <sighs> Agreed. And it's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to. What? Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's hmm. medicine. We did good. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. Oh! If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. 
That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. Yeah. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. Oh. Uh. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hmm. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me! A quiche! There's a lot of dialogue! Holy hell! Hey, I leveled up! Alright! Well, so far, the story is shaping up to be interesting. Um, a lot of dialogue, so I don't know how I'm gonna manage that with videos. Well, I'm gonna cut this one right here. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you for watching. I am probably going to be doing way more of this. Look forward to them just about every day if nothing else happens, if nothing goes wrong, anyway. Um, but if you did enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. The usual stuff you do for, uh, a very handsome, a handsome handsome boy who has the sexual appeal of a banana um but i will see you in the next video you have an excellent rest of your day Toodaloo.